all right youtube family it appears we just did an up-to-date video about little cam's friends trolling but this video here is about more old videos of little cam who seems to can't stop trolling a wave this is not the same video like the other one we uploaded it go check that one out we just separate the receipts to not cause no confusion no exaggeration we just stick to the script and stick to the updated news and information now if you guys don't know what's going on stick with the vibe and pay attention so apparently little cam wanted to keep trolling and he hasn't stopped yet but it seems like he's in fear of his own life he's in fear of the backlash coming his way he was talking a lot of gangster talk and now he's talking a little i'm afraid of my life talk and we know what happens when the pressure gets applied folks ain't acting like that no more he was doing all that talking and we still don't even know if he's the one who pulled the trigger but he wanted that clout he wanted that fame congratulations cam you played yourself now let's get started with the news the right way i need y'all to smash that like button hit that notification bell thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip-hop live platform again salute to the homie pesh mayweather salute to him follow him also on his instagram show some love to the crew one time and what i just wanted to say to the people in the room i love i smoke hip-hop nation it's never dim it's always us or or i should flip it in reverse always us never dim so little cam this decides to troll the entire family again and we know that already we did a video about his friends who was talking very crazy and brazy out here but little cam apparently pressure fell on him if you guys don't know let's look at some of these receipts together so y'all can know what i'm up to date on and what dj bless one is talking about his friends posted these old videos and we posted it while i'm laughing at the video but little cam don't feel the same way He's in the situation where he said he has to reassure himself that he's that dude for real. These are some of the things he said to remember that he's that dude for real. He said some ish just can't phase you when you bend that nigga. So this is him talking to himself. He's trying to remember that he's not no fake dude. He got stripes out here for real. And ladies and gentlemen, when they get to talking like this to themselves and trying to remember who they are, they're trying to psych themselves into not getting tricked out their position. So what Cam is doing is basically trying to remember, yeah, I ain't no weak dude out here, man. I'm somebody out here. He's trying to remember that everybody know who his dad is, the name he carries on here. So he has to move in a way where he can't just apologize for x y and z he's gonna bring it up a lot of the street politics into it you know what i mean that's what he's basically doing right now so let's get back to the script and get back to the updated news all right more on the new things he wrote this is how you know he's in trouble he said the impossible i did that ish the other day i think he tried to write that's impossible i kill take off that day so finally, he's trying to make people know he's innocent. He took a while to say this. So what changed? What caused little Cam to talk to the people in a grown-up manner, in a grown-up way, to show some sincerity, to show that his life might possibly be in danger? What caused him to change it? And I think, like we've been hearing from the streets of Houston and Atlanta, them real wolves is out here, man. They don't even care if Cam pulled the trigger or not. Now they're just looking at all the fun games he was playing, all the weak things he was doing. You know what I mean? You got a lot of people who just ain't gonna let it get moved like that. It's like, wait a minute, bro. You trolling my loved one? You're trolling my family? And you're, you're taking it for games, bro. You playing with us right about now. We're not gonna let this go at all, bro. It's dysfunctional for these youths to doing that, but that's the repercussion. So you see Cam is feeling it. Now it continues, y'all. It gets a little bit deep. Cam done turned into Def Jam Poetry Night. This man, this man done turned into a, this dude right here, Cam, he done turned into a poet overnight. I kid you not. Let's read it. Cam now is saying, all that love you ish like I'm finna check out or something. Basically, if you guys don't understand the hood terminology, he's like, man, all this love people is trying to show me now. 
come on, man, y'all acting funny like I'm about to die and lose my life. So he feeling it real now. By him exposing this, he basically exposed himself. He's letting you know that people such as mom, dad, brothers, and friends, who's, who's ever living that care about him, gang, gang, big bra in them, OG, head honcho in them, all of them, everybody damn near riding him sympathizing with him even strangers and fans of him writing things to him in a way where bro man are you all right are you okay we seen this going on people basically know what's about to happen allegedly and they feel it more than him he playing these games and thinking it's serious i mean thinking it's not serious enough at the time all his old tweets like these ones we already showed he started posting a lot of crimey things that we can't really you feel me fall in the backs of it and, and protect him bro even back in 2017 of him riding all that old ish bro now let's get back to the new information of Lil Cam. now he talking about all this love but this is him riding more def jam poetry it's sticking to his head more that life is getting kind of brazy and the ops in them they coming for me fast whoever his ops is because you got folks in houston who don't like him at all trust me y'all i ain't gonna go deep on that now let go again he said it ain't no secret i'm outside been in these streets ish my whole life it's like he trying to make somebody out there believe he that dude for real i know he ain't talking to us he ain't talking to civilians he ain't talking to the bloggers he ain't talking to tmz abc none of that because nobody wastes their time with them folks let's be dudes like us from the hood don't really like i, I hear you lame ass bloggers trying to hate on me every day we don't respond to them so i know he got to think like me he ain't responding to them people so who is little cam responding to when he says ain't no secret i'm outside been in these streets for days you know who little cam is responding to y'all he responded to all them folks who love folks like Quavo, who done looked at this dude being creepy vibes and all that, from the mayor ties to everything like that, to the gambling situation. You feel me? He know it's them real street niggas that was in the room that day, real street niggas that was in that official situation. Well, they got a hundred brothers and friends who love them too, not just take off. And they looking to take something off a educational purpose, allegedly. And the boy done messed up in the situation he can't get back. So he now got to put fear in them real wolf's heart to remind them, hey, don't come for me. I'm a real dude too, just like y'all. So now he's trying to get self-assured that dudes is going to be afraid of him. And that's what he's doing with this whole situation. He's assuring himself that and trying to remember he's that real dude. Now here's the final one that he threw out there. This the one, bro, this is brazy. He turned into a poet. He said, gotta live with it, can't wake up from it, this is not a bad dream. In other words, and what Lil' Cam is saying, it's not a bad dream, cause it's a goddamn nightmare. It's a nightmare he can't wake up from, they can't shake him up, I mean he wrote it, he can't wake up from this, it's a reality. Your name is gonna be tied to this forever bro, even if you ain't pulled the trigger, cause you wanted to play around with somebody death. If it was me and people put my name out there, the first minute I already would have been on social media, I would have hit all the blogs up, even pay some of them. This is my statement, give an interview, not to get nobody indicted or anything, but I got nothing to do with none of that. I ain't got beef with takeoff. I am innocent, but my nigga, you wanted to troll. You wanted to be a fool out here and play with people acting like you don't got moms and dads and friends who love you. Now you put in their life in danger too, whoever stand behind you. I know people is 10 toes down, but are you going to be 10 toes down when them spirits come through? Because you can't shake the spirits. You can shake man all day. But when the most high put them demons out there, you can call yourself a savage, a demon all day. But when the real demons come through, which is the spirits, ain't no hiding, ain't no ducking. Look, y'all, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One, man. Love your family, love your kids, and truly stay blessed. Remember to rock with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement, man. We always over here. Never them, always us. Always us, never them, man. Look, I can't tell you to stay dangerous if you staying safe already out here, man. You feel me? Love your family, love your kids, stay blessed. Copy, check, over, and out.